Morning, everybody. This is Jeffrey Jansen. Today is February 11, 2019. This is Monday Morning Motivation. I will be your host like always. I am Jeffrey Jansen. I hope everybody's having a great day and I hope everybody had a great weekend. However, you should have started planning your day yesterday. The beginning of the week is always on a Sunday. It means you're getting everything prepped, prepared, and ready to go. What are you going to do today? Now, let's go ahead and get started. Don't worry. If you didn't get things done yesterday, we'll go ahead and get them started today the right way, okay? First thing is, this is what I'm going to tell everybody, and this is something new I want to start and see if people will understand this. When you're getting up and motivated, don't turn on the TV, okay? Do not go and <clears throat> do anything with news or anything that's going to bring you negative, okay? I had Don Thompson yesterday or, and over the weekend and everything else, and this is something we've been doing anyway. The reason why I do the motivational stuff is because I know there's people out there looking to get their morning started, looking to get everything up and going, and it goes through all of the United States. So my thing is... Uh, the thing that I want to teach each and every one of you is don't turn on the news in the morning. It's just negative. I know you're probably trying to get the weather. Keep the weather on your phone, okay? Instead, don't turn on anything negative. And you have to read 11 good pages of the book, which we're going to do after this video, okay? Now, how do you stay motivated today? Well, first thing you've got to do is maybe once in a while. I met a guy in the airport yesterday. You know what he does every single morning when he gets up? He's in his 80s. He actually does sit-ups in his bed, and he said the reason why he's able to do sit-ups in his bed is because the sheets keep his feet down, and he's able to, and I'm, I'm actually being honest, he actually works out while in bed, okay? The second thing, and this is something I like to do. Whenever I get up in the morning and whenever I get out and get going, I like to send out positive messages, personal positive messages, not just doing mass emails and stuff, even though I know people see my Facebook page. What they don't know is I'm actually sending personal messages to friends and family, anybody popping into my mind, because they matter, because they make a difference, and I want them to have a great week. Now, can I get to everybody? No, because there's thousands and thousands and thousands, if not millions of people out there that I've known, run into, and um, I've inspired or I've had a motivational time with or I've upset this stuff. But the whole thing is, <clears throat> I know that Mondays are some of the hardest times to start, so I like to try to send out as much personal stuff. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Today, I got up about an hour and a half later than what I normally do because I think with the cold weather, driving on the ice, you know, I, I just had time to think and I was on, my brain was on overdrive. Now, when you go out into the workforce today, make sure you get a little food in your system, okay? Me, I can't eat breakfast foods, but people mistake me for saying breakfast foods as in I don't eat breakfast. You know, I actually went over to the store the other day and bought a box of Pops, you know, the cereal Pops. I'm not trying to advertise them or anything else. But the reason why is you got to have something in your system. Now, I have, I'm a high-energy person the way it is. I don't need different things to be a high-energy person. But here's just a, get a little breakfast in you so you get the day started right. Now, what is on your calendar for this week? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to accomplish? Are you in college? Are you going to work? Are you trying to get a supervisor position, a management position? Are you trying to get other people that work for you to basically get motivated and you're trying to find out different ways? You're not trying to go up in the world. You're trying to motivate others and trying to figure out how you become, from an introvert, to an extrovert. And believe it or not, a lot of my friends are introverts. Now, what does that mean? What does introvert mean? Introvert means that you're scared to get that outside of your box. You kind of keep to yourself. You don't need all the extra motivation, the extra drama and everything else. But then you want to get ahead in life and you realize that the people that are motivated and everything, they're the ones getting ahead. So how do you do it? You got to suck it up. I'm just telling you right now, there is nothing in life that is easy but it's all obtainable and doable as long as you put your mind, heart, and soul to it. You matter each and every day. If you want to get that next sale, then you got to go out and talk to people. And the more people you talk to, the easier it gets. It'll never be easy enough for you because if you're an extrovert, it's just something that's going to come hard. But as you keep doing it, it'll get easier to where eventually you'll be able to walk in talk to people, get things done. If you're trying to go in for a job, you know, you may be easy writing an application, putting your name and what you do on there. Okay, that's great. But guess what? If you want to get more job and have a better, higher um, likelihood of getting that job, write a resume. You need to know how to resume, go to the library, call friends or family, somebody that's written them before and go and write a resume. Okay, and also when you go in, personally take it to people. Don't just email stuff over to people. Personally go take it in so they can see who you are. Dress the part that you're going for, okay? Dress for success. Know this. Each and every day you matter. What you say, do, think matters. Giving your hug, kids a hug, telling your loved one, <clears throat> your domestic partner in your life that you care about them, that you love them. Give them a hug even if you don't want to. You know, trying to forgive people, you know, the three forgiveness. Forgive each other, forgive yourself, ask forgiveness from yourself, okay? My name is Jeffrey Jansen. I just want you to know that you matter. This is my five minutes strong, just like Jeff Bell does, but I started my stuff with him, and I love each and every one. If you need anything from me, give me a call. Talk to you soon, everybody. Love you. Bye.